Good morning, East Burnick High School. This morning, I would like to present to you the new online scheduling process that will take place this year. This process will allow you to schedule and request your classes from home or anywhere you have internet access. On February 19th, you will be able to go online and request courses for the 2014-15 school year. This will remain open until March 3rd. From there, your school counselor will meet individually with each student to finalize your course request starting in March. Let me begin by showing you what it will look like. You will begin by going to the EBHS website and then locating the Parent tab at the top of the page, or you may go directly to Parent Access. From there, you will have a drop-down menu. Click on the Parent Access. At the Parent Access screen, you will enter the user ID name, which is the email address requested in your Parent Access account, as well as the password. Once entered, click on the Scheduling tab found at the top of the page then click on the request tab. At this slide you may find an Apple icon which indicates a course that a teacher has recommended as well as a listing of other possible courses. Please note a teacher recommendation is not considered a requested course. After each request you will be brought back to the main menu for the next course to request. You can only select one category at a time. When you select a category, a course request screen appears where you actually request the course. A list of possible choices for this category is also shown in addition to the teacher recommended course. Once you have selected a requested course, you must click OK to confirm. If you make a mistake or want to change a request, click on the garbage icon. This will delete the course and allow you to revise your course request. Remember, before submitting, you must request a minimum of 12 full semester electives and a minimum of four quarter courses. Before clicking Submit, make sure all subject areas have been requested. You will not be able to make changes after you click Submit. Make sure you review before submitting. After meeting with your counselor, Final requests will be in and at that time you can view your final proposed request. The waiver process has not changed. Please review the procedure or see your school counselor. Be sure to use the following resources to help you select the appropriate courses. The course guide, the waiver form, the course selection worksheet, the graduation requirements, as well as Naviance. I hope this new online scheduling procedure will help the process of course selection. Remember, access to the online scheduling will only be open from February 19th to March 3rd. Finally, your school counselor will be in contact with you for an appointment to finalize your course request selection. All these resources will be placed on our school webpage. Thank you for your time and have a great day.